So an extension of this activity is to do, um, so we, we did a line of best fit here, and um, an extension of this activity is going to be to linearize the data. Um, how do I linearize this data set? Because this data set looks like an exponential decay, and it doesn't, the line doesn't really fit it um, very well. So uh, how do we get um, a line of best fit uh, that sort of, you know, a better fit, a polynomial fit? After all, we have like a poly fit function or whatever. Um, but anyway, we can, we can do this um, sort of experimentally with a log-log approach. Um, so I'm, I'm basically, let me just, um, I have another worksheet up here that I've made with the log log. There we go. And I'll attach this one into the YouTube description. But basically, suppose you have a function that, uh, that's data that fits some sort of exponential, um, for, um, like formula. So like y equals ax to the n power, where a is just a constant, some sort of initial constant, um, sort of initializing constant, and then you have n being some integer, so it, y could be ax squared or ax cubed, something like that. n could be, you know, negative 2, you know, for example. Okay, so let's take the log of both sides. Log of y, so if I take the log of both sides of this equation, log of y equals log of ax to the n. We can separate, because we have logs, we can separate them. So it's like log a plus log x to the n. That's a log rule, uh, okay? And then we can actually bring this n down in front of the log and then just rearrange. So I'm just putting this term right here. So log of y equals n log x plus log of a. Well, why did I do that? Um, well, you can think of this log y as your new y variable and this log x as your new x variable. And what's in front of the log x? It's just n, the n times x. And this is log of a. a is just a constant. It doesn't, it's not like a function of x. So this is actually like log of a constant. It's just going to be a constant. So b is a constant. n is a constant. And these are some new variables. Well, y equals nx plus b is just a straight line. That straight line has slope n and y-intercept b, right? So... It turns out that if you a one common way to linearize the data is to take the log of both sides, um, and then plot the log of x. If you plot the log of x versus the log of y, and you get a straight line, then the slope of that line will tell you how it fits the data. So let's go ahead and just do that now um, on our example data set here, so you guys can see what that looks like. So what what I'm trying to say here? Oops, this isn't my so there we go. Okay, so this is what I did before. I did linear fit. But what I want to do is take the log of both sides. So let's go ahead and, and do that. I'll call this x2 equals... And to do the log function, you need a, lo a numpy log n. Is what it, this is the function in numpy that does the logarithm. So we're going to do that for x. And we're going to set y2 equals np dot n of y, right? So that what this has done is I've taken the log of x and the log of y. Now I can just plot it. I'm going to take a shortcut here and just copy and paste this. Paste it into here, and then I'm just changing x to x2 and y to y2. So what have I done here in creating this graph? I basically have taken the log of all of the, you know, these data points, both with respect to x and y and graph them. As you can see, I get a new graph. It's a little bit, there's like a region here where it's a straight line and over here it kind of curves. So that's, it's not a perfect fit. Um, let's go ahead and take um, the line of best fit for this data. How would I take the line of best fit for this data? It's exactly, it's this poly fit function here. So I'm gonna copy and paste this down into here. I'm going to change some of the variable names so we don't, like, just erase the old ones. So I'll call this M2B2 because this is my second polyfit. And I'm fitting the data on X2 and Y2. I'm not doing the original data set. And I am making a straight line fit through this data. Okay. Um, so it ran the code. 
I want to see what M2 is. And E2. So let's go ahead and print those. So those end up being negative 0.9 and 1.81. What does this tell us? So this tells us that this is like minus 0.9. That's close to minus 1. Um, if I had a function that was to the minus 1 power, that's like y equals 1 over x. 1 over x uh, will fit this data set. This is my original data set. So this actually looks like one y equals 1 over x. So if I just take the inverse of separation distance, I get counts per minute. It's a pretty good approximation because it's not exactly minus 1, but it's close. If I'd gotten a minus 2 for the slope, that would be inverse square law. It would function on inverse square law. One, What's inverse square law? 1 over x squared, right? And there's many things in physics that go through the 1 over x squared relationship. Um, and then this is the y-intercept. I can actually use the y -intercept, this information to generate um, a line of uh, an x, you know, to get my original fitting equation. Let me go ahead and like add a line of best fit to this graph since I'm really close to that and I think I'll wrap it up. So um, let me just copy and paste this stuff so I don't have to repeat three lines of code. And then I'm going to add some new stuff here. The new stuff is just plotting the new x, x, and the new um, x and y. So the new x and y is just going to be the x. Um, actually, this is x2 here. Plotting x2, m2, x2 plus b2. And let's do, um, let's do like a red plus symbols for this, okay? Red plus symbols are going to be R plus. So let's go ahead and look at this data set. Um, this is the line of best fit that I just calculated. You can see it's um, going this way. I uh, wonder if I can actually, maybe representing this as a dashed line would be a little bit easier um, to see what's going on here. So there's the dashed line that represents the um, data set for... Um, this log log plot. And I should actually probably specify that this is a log log plot. So if I was, I needed to change my x, you know, log of counts per minute and log of separation distance. Because these numbers don't make a lot of sense unless you say that. Okay, um, so that is how you make a line of best fit. That's awesome. This is a linearizing data approach that can help us figure out how our data fits.